okay so let's continue our like uh, our aws series so in this uh, video uh, we will see how you are going to restore the uh, deleted ebs and episode so restore deleted ebs and episode so basically like if you open the ec2 or if you are not able to see on the dashboard we can search uh, uh, here as well so ec2 so if you click on the ec2 uh, we have seen like the block storage option. One is the volume, one is the snapshot. So if you go to the volume, there is nothing. Uh, there is a one volume. Let me delete that. So just uh, so that I can create a video from scratch. Okay, so there is no volume exists. There is no snapshots. All right. So what we will do in this. So we can create a volume. Volume is just a nothing. We can it, it kind of a storage device. So it's a kind of a block storage, which we can attach with our EC2 instances. So let's create a volume uh, first. And to, before creating a volume, we will check whether it is paid. If we create some volume, uh, do we need to pay some money or not? So just here, AWS free tire and click on the AWS free tire and scroll down and here search EBS. So EBS elastic imagine elastic block storage come under come under the uh, free tire, all right. And and if you little bit scroll down, uh, the thirty GB of volume if you create till thirty GB then it is free. And only two types are free that is the general purpose or and the magnetic, all right. Okay. So let's try to create uh, within the thirty GB and only these two types general purpose or the magnetic. So open the volumes, uh, create a volume. So we are creating the general purpose. So let's create a one GB only because just a, like demo. Uh, we can create a, so we are in the London, uh, which is like uh, EU West 2. And in the availability zone, we can select anyone, EU West 2, way 2B, 2C, anyone, whatever you want. So let's create it. Uh, one minute, let me hide it. So let's create it. So our volume has been created, right? So let me refresh it. So now volume state is available. So our volume has been created. So only volume has been created, but snapshot is not there. Snapshot is just a backup. So generally like we can create a backup of our data. So EBS, this volume is, you can say uh, our data, but there is no backup exists. So let's create a backup. So uh, right click on the volume, click on the actions, create a snapshot. So I can I can EBS snapshot. Okay. So click on create. So now snapshot has been created. Okay. So if you see here under the volume, our volume has been exist. Under the snapshots, our snapshot has been exist, right? But let's pause. If I if I like by mistake, I deleted my like uh, a snapshot let's suppose, let me delete my volume because i don't need the volume so let me delete the volume all right okay we have the snapshot so we can create a volume from the snapshot that is fine but let's suppose if our snapshot also get deleted so let me delete the snapshot so if our snapshot has been deleted so now how i am going to recover so what is the way to uh, to do the recovery? If you see here, there is a recycle bin option. So let me click on the recycle bin. And if I go to the resources, uh, there is a nothing. So how am I, how, how I like going to recover this snapshot? All right. So there is a nothing. So before so so for this, like we have one option. Whenever you create the snapshot, so let's create the volume again. Create a volume, one GB, and a general purpose, and let's create a volume. So volume has been created. So let's create a snapshot. Uh, my snapshot. Alright. So snapshot has been created. So if you go to the snapshot, uh, snapshot has been created as well. Alright. So earlier I show you if I deleted this, there is no way so that I can restore it. 
so that's why we have to whenever we create a like a snapshot what we can do is and if we want in our project if there is a like a requirement we have to make sure and the our like snapshots are very important for us our backups are very important and we want like backup should not be like uh, uh, get deleted till number of days so or if get deleted we can restore so what we can do is so we can like uh, click on the recycle bin we can create the retention rule so recycle bin is a concept it will protect your amazon eb snapshot and anms from accidental deletion because i have accidentally deleted because like we are we all are humans like we can delete anything by mistake but how we are, how we are going to restore so so we have the recycle bin option so right now earlier when i deleted i could not see anything in the recycle bin so so if i deleted why did not go to the recycle bin so because i have not created the retention rule so first i have to create the retention rule so let's create the my retention rule like uh, one day retention rule one day rule all right so resource type ebs because uh, there are you could see two option ebs and the ami uh, because uh, like a uh, recycle bin is applicable for the both the ebs and the ami and let's apply to all the resources all the resources of the ebs snapshot and the retention period is one day all right okay so let's create the retention rule so now i have created my retention rule all right so now, but there is there is no resources now i have created my retention rule now let's go back to the ec2 so because now, now i have created the retention rule so if i click on the snapshots all right so let me delete the volume so because i don't need the uh, don't need my volume delete volume all right so because uh, the snapshot is uh, like uh, the recycle bin is for the snapshots so uh, I have like a, so let me show you. Yeah. So now what we are going to do is we are going to delete our snapshot. All right. Because let's suppose we accidentally delete our snapshot. So our snapshot has been deleted. Earlier we see if we deleted, uh, we are unable to restore. So now if we are deleted, so what we can do is we can go to this recycle bin. We can go to the resources. Now we can see our snapshot move to the recycle bin. So if some if we delete something, it is going to our recycle bin, but it is going to stay for one day because our retention rule says only one day. Only retention period is one day. So, or if we want to increase our retention rules, we can increase our retention based upon our requirement. So now let's try to restore. So click on it. Now let's try to recover. So now I have recovered it. So let's go to the EC2 and let's uh, click on the snapshots. Now I'm I'm able to see my snapshot again. All right. So this is like uh, uh, you can say an, an important concept. Like whenever we uh, do actual work in the actual project, because uh, either we have to like put like a lot of restriction like read only access to everyone but if we are giving some like developer kind of access then it is better like uh, to create a retention period uh, under the recycle bin so what we like uh, learn in this video so how we are going to restore the deleted ebs snapshot so first we created a this volume so from that ebs volume we created a snapshot and then what we did is we deleted the snapshot then we see if we deleted the snapshot, accidentally deleted the snapshot, then there is no way to recover it, right? Then we, we could see there is a one option that the recycle bin, but that the deleted snapshot will move into the recycle bin only and only if we, we set the retention rule. So we set the retention rule again. We set the retention rule, then we again created the volume and then again created the snapshot. Then we accidentally deleted the snapshot. Then we can see whatever the snapshot we deleted, it moved to the it moved to the recycle bin. Then we selected our particular snapshot and we like, uh, there is a recover button. Then we recover our snapshot and we able to see our uh, our snapshots uh, uh, that is going to restore. All right, so you can also try and it's a free of cost. So there is no money uh, to create a like, because if you are in the free tire, then you can create a EBS volume or EBS snapshot. 
along with that uh, the uh, the restoration also did not take any money so if you see a ws free tire and if you click on it and if you search ebs so click on it elastic block storage and click on the ws free tire and if you scroll down so there is a mention like uh, uh, restoring so EBS and absolute restore pricing. So for the standard, uh, like uh, there is a free, so there is a no restore like pricing. So you can do the restore free of cost. So you don't need to worry. All right. So that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.